most people, when I look at how well they move, they don't move very well, even if they move a lot. So I'm more, I'm more focused on quality over quantity. Americans focus on quantity. And all over Facebook you see challenges. How many squats can you do in a minute or burpees? I'm not really interested in how many you can do. I'm interested in how many you can do correctly. Because to me, every one you didn't do correctly, you're beating up your joints. Movement is a nutrient. It's a vital nutrient. And it can either feed your joints or it can wreck your joints and the rest of your body. So when you're not moving well, then you're not eating well. Let me say it again, if you're not moving well, you're not eating well, because movement is a nutrient, it's a very vital nutrient, and the quality of how you move should perceive the quantity. Because if it doesn't, and you get too obsessed with quantity, eventually you're gonna end up injured. And when you're hurt, life sucks, right? No one wants to go through life sick or injured. That's why I titled the book Feel Good Now. People wanna feel good now, right? But let's face it, life is not fun when you're sick and injured. And I get into this a lot with people when I work with them one-on-one -on -one or with in group exercise classes. Cleaning up their movement patterns so that they can enjoy their life. So now, when they go to play with their kids or they go dancing or they do whatever, they recover very quickly. All right, the point of exercise is not to beat yourself up. You know, there's this, this, this warped thing about exercise. If it doesn't burn and hurt or you don't feel something ripping, it's not doing anything beneficial. And I can promise you that no pain, no gain is uh, no way in my book. Okay, you want to train, not strain your body. I mean, when you train your body correctly, it should feel good when you're doing it. And when you get done, it should feel good. Next day, you should feel pretty good. Now, I'm not saying you're never gonna be slightly sore if you're doing something new that you haven't done in a while because your body's adapting a little bit. But the goal of exercise is not to beat yourself up. It should not be injurious to your body. It's a, it's a vital nutrient. So people abuse exercise a lot. I call exercise a very uh, underrated nutrient and overused uh, supplement. It's one of the ways I refer to exercise because people, they don't, they don't value it enough to see it for what it truly is. But on the flip side, they abuse the hell out of it like a drug to get some kind of high. And um, that can be another addiction. And you gotta be very careful. When people come to me and they say to me, oh, I just have to go to the gym or I don't feel right. I know what they mean to say, but it's a red flag to me because if it's the way they say it, if there's a possessive look in their eyes when they say it, then they're probably hooked on it, like a drug. And you gotta be very careful of that.